Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to disassemble CRP chamber and how to disassemble CRP uh, chamber connection cable. This is DA36X CRP analyzer. Let me show you. First, uh, the right side of the analyzer, light road, open it. Here inside, we have inside the uh, reagent inside the CRP chamber. First, we need to take it out. How we will take it out? By medical syringe. Use a medical syringe. Put it inside and then manually take it out, make it empty the CRP chamber. Now first make it empty. So now the CRP chamber it's empty, right? After that, here we have the CRP overflow, first remove this one and this cable connection of CRP and also this one. Okay, disconnect this is the gonna screw by this L key. Also disconnect this tube which connected with the wall 50 wall 5 from CRP. Now we can remove easily the CRP chamber. Downside as you can see here, here we have one hexagonal screw you can see here. We have to remove it. I move, now take it out, be careful, here so behind we have coupler connection of it, let me show you here this side, on the left side you have to remove the door and then remove the screw and here inside you can see this one you can see one one is here connect you can see this screw this one we have to remove the screw and also disconnect the other two cables let me remove it right. so when you disconnect uh, remove the grounding screw now you can, we can take out the crp chamber and we can disconnect the cable now you can see now these three cable connection you can see one is for CRP laser, disconnect it, another one is this one disconnect and then third one disconnected. Here we have, it's connected here, we have to remove this tube. Now the CRP chamber, now as you can see, it's removed successfully. So you have to be careful when you remove the CRP chamber. Now I will disconnect the uh, CRP connection cable, this one. As you can see this is the CRP cable right now I will disconnect it and then the other side and this cable is connected here let me show you back side of the analyzer here is J57 disconnected J57 J57 as you can see so it's connected here disconnect from here and for this fan, inside we have two screw. You have to just lose and lose the another one. 
when you lose then here is just take it upside and then take it out as you can see now it's removed here be careful here inside we have to there is a clip we have to disconnect this clip okay so in this way you can disconnect the crp connection cable so this is the cable of crp so now i will show you how to reassemble how to replace a new crp chamber let me first install back this cable by this way be careful here inside we have one connector then you have to reconnect it after pass the cable then take it put it here same place and then install back with the J57 connector now you can see it's properly connected then paste the fan on the actual position and then the screw two screw make it tight CRP chamber. We will install first the CRP chamber, and then this cable we will connect here. This coupler, this coupler we will connect here, and this cable ground we will connect here. First, we need to connect these three uh, couplers. Now, three coupler connection I connected properly, and then here you can see we have. This tube connected here, the lower, lower power pipe, then install it back. Now install back and then. Connect the hexagonal screw. Now it's connected. Now I have to connect this tube with the wall five. connect it properly then the CRP connection cable then this cable CRP overflow cable tube for CRP overflow the other side and we have to connect the grounding cable 
And then, then we have to make tight the screw. Then other two. And then you can see now the CRP chamber and CRP cable properly connected. So this is the way how to disassemble the CRP chamber and replace a new one or reassemble the CRP chamber and CRP chamber connection cable. Thank you for watching the video.